Hey guys, happy hashtag totally awesome Tuesday. So I hope everyone is moving through their weeks and their days and and their businesses with ease, letting them flow like water instead of putting dams up and blocking the flow. That's something big. Uh, hey, Anthony, mi amigo, good to see you jumping on. And as you do come on, uh, please say hi where you're coming in from, as Anthony has done. Tag some teammates, share this video, give me some hearts, some thumbs, some wow faces, just so I know that I'm coming through loud and clear. Hi, Sarah. And I was where this this live uh is derived from. I was watching a, a YouTube video of Simon Sinek, who was holding a meeting on um, last week or, or very early this week, yesterday, with his team. And the title of it, that to his team, the title of, the, of his little message to them is that these are not unprecedented times. And it completely hooked me because I'm like, all right, I got to, he's one of my favorite people on the planet. I want to hear what he has to say. And I know like when I, when I heard this message and I'm going to drop the link to this YouTube video uh, for you guys to watch after I'm done with this, but it, it brought up three really good questions. And what I want you guys to realize is that now more than ever, mindset has everything to do with what's going on right now. And we can distract ourselves as much as we can. We can distract ourselves with, with TikTok and we can just, you know, we can distract ourselves with doing whatever. But what I can tell you right now after watching that video there may be uh, an epidemic and a pandemic going on right now, but these are not unprecedented times. I am for certain. And, and Simon went on to say, are we in a dark tunnel right now? Absolutely. And then he went on to say, Yo, yo, Joe Alonzo, Tiffany, Emily, Kale, good to see you jumping on. He said, even though we're in a dark tunnel, is there a light at the end of that tunnel? He said, yes, there is a light at the end of this. How long this tunnel of darkness is, we don't know. But we will get out of this. And he goes, something amazing will come from this. So what you have to understand is that Things like this happen all the time, whether it's to an individual, whether it's to a company, or whether it's to the world. This may feel, this may feel like an unprecedented time. This may feel awkward and weird and not normal. But at some point, we've all gone through something like this on maybe a lesser level. We just don't remember because we got through it and we got to the end of that dark tunnel and we then were back into the light and we were into the, the amazingness of life. So there's three questions that I want you to ask yourselves. Number one. Are these really unprecedented times? Ask yourself this. Are these unprecedented times? In this interview that I was watching, he was talking about the story of Netflix. And if you guys remember when Netflix first started, they basically they had those big red machines at the grocery stores. We would go and we would rent DVDs and we would mail them back. So as Netflix started to grow, 
the president, founder, and CEO of Blockbuster called a meeting with the board. And he says, guys, listen, there is a, there's a, a new company out there called Netflix, and they're really disrupting what we're doing. And their technology is not there, but what they want to create is a way for people to stream movies from their home the way that we have our stores where people come to rent from us. So the, the owner, the owner of Blockbuster, and there's one store left, it's in Canada somewhere. The owner of Blockbuster saw that there was a change. He saw that there was a, a need to pivot and go in a different direction. And when he pushed the board to like, let's make some changes, let's, let's redevelop, let's, let's advance. Do you know what their response was? Their response to him was, we're not changing a thing. 12% of our yearly revenue is based off of late fees. 12% of our revenue is based off of late fees. So they didn't change. They didn't adapt and they didn't create something new. And you have now seen over the last 10 plus years, what Netflix has become. So Blockbuster was going through an unprecedented time where they owned the lion's share. They were a conglomerate. They were a monster when it came to renting movies and DVDs and video games and all of those things. And you know what? Technology caught up. So again, I want to ask yourself, I want you guys to ask yourselves, are these really unprecedented times? Are they really? Number two, the second question I want you to ask yourselves, and again, if you're jumping on, say hi and where you're coming in from, tag some teammates, share this video. The second thing I want to ask you guys, what are you going to do to change? What are you going to do to change right now? Are you just going to continue doing the same old thing? Expecting something different to happen? What are you going to do to change? For all my entrepreneurs out there, what are you going to do to change your business to adapt what's going on globally? For all my coaches, what are you going to do to adapt to all of the changes? To all my network marketers, what are you going to do to change with what's going on right now on a global scale? Hi, Renee. Hey, Doug. Melissa, good to see you jumping on. So again, say hi and where you're coming in from. Tag some teammates and share this video. What are you going to do to change? Here's an interesting story. Simon went on to say, he said, listen, he said, in New York City, the restaurant industry is literally flipped upside down. You know, obviously all over the country it is. And he said there was this five-star restaurant on the Upper East Side. And they had to adapt and change. So what this restaurateur did, he had to shut down his restaurant, but he turned his restaurant into a full delivery service restaurant, finding new jobs for his wait staff, finding new jobs for his servers and his hostesses and hosts and sous chefs and line chefs and cooks. 
He didn't have to lay off one person because he changed with what's going on right now. We are in a season right now of bobbing and weaving. We are in a season of adapting and changing. We are in a season of growth, not lack. And there's a lot of people out there that may say, I think you're wrong. I think that these are unprecedented times. I feel that this is not the time to change. This is the time to hunker down. This is the opportune time to go all in with something that you're doing. And I can't tell you, when, when I released my new book yesterday, I was talking about this over the weekend with Nancy, and we said, oh my, like, this is, it, it's, it's crazy to be releasing a new book right now. And then I thought to myself, no, I'm not going to delay what I had planned with my new book and withhold that from people because the book was created to actually help people and move them forward so they can learn something new and adapt and change. So why would I withhold that so I put it out anyway? You see, you guys may think you guys may think that these are the worst times to do something, the worst time to invest, the worst time to start something new, the worst time to invest in yourself or your business. When in reality, it's actually the best time to invest in yourself and your business. Because again, these are not unprecedented times. We make these unprecedented times by how we treat what's going on. Thank you, Doug. And I saw Doug Neiman just join. Jay Little, what's up? What are you going to change? How are you going to change what you're doing every day? Are you going to use social media the same way? Are you going to show up differently? But the third and biggest question that you need to ask yourself right now is, what are you going to create? In this time, Mike Cav, can't stop, won't stop. What are you going to create? What you guys need to realize, this is a parting of the Red Sea moment. The, the Red Sea has parted for all my historians. How are you going to take advantage of this time? What are you going to do? What are you going to create that is going to help the marketplace? If you think that succumbing to what's going on in the outside world is what we're supposed to be doing, you're wrong. As Simon Sinek said, we are in a dark tunnel right now. But he goes, at the end of every single tunnel, there is a bright light. There is a light at the end of this tunnel. We don't know how long it's going to be. We don't know how long this is going to take. But as long as we move forward through this dark time, we're going to come out of this victorious. Something beautiful, incredible, and amazing will absolutely come out of this. Think about the businesses that were created in the 2008 crash. Uber, Lyft, Airbnb, Instagram, Pinterest. So why not now? Why not you? Why not us? What makes this time any different? whether it's an unprecedented time for you personally, professionally, or something globally. 
So I want you to ask yourself these three questions and I want you to pose this question to those that you engage with. Are these really unprecedented times? What are you going to do to change? What are you gonna do? Think about the transportation industry. Taxi cabs have been resistant to change. The taxi industry has been absolutely resistant to change forever. What does Uber do? They come along and they shake up the entire industry. And still to this day, the taxi cab industry has not changed. So Uber and Lyft have now taken over. Something amazing, something incredible will come out of all of this. Some of you that are on here right now or watching on the replay are going to do something during this time that is going to set you apart from everybody else. Some of you on here right now are going to change something. You are going to bob and weave. You are going to adapt and you are going to create something that is going to set you apart from everyone else. Is that going to be you? Or are you going to allow the noise of what's going on around us to affect your mission, to affect your vision, to affect your legacy? Because if we think this is the only time something in our lifetime is going to happen like this, you know, do we for, did we forget about SARS? Did we forget about H1N1? Did we forget about Zika? They were not to the extent of this, but those were also things that we had to work through. Life is mindset. What flows between the six inches between your ears will make or break you. What are you going to do to adapt and change? What are you going to do to create something new? Are you going to allow what's going on outside? Are you going to succumb to all of that? Or are you going to push through? So for those that are on here live or on the replay, I want you to type in the chat box. Don't affirm this to me. Affirm this to you and affirm it to yourself by typing it in the chat box. If you are ready to move forward, if you are ready to create, if you are already ready to bob and weave and adapt and change, type in the chat box, I am ready. I don't care what you do for a profession. We're all human beings. We're all going through this together. But what are you gonna do to change? What are you gonna do to adapt? What are you going to do to create? And if you are ready, type I am ready in the chat box, either live or on the replay. I want to see everyone come out of this even more successful and abundant as they were before it happened. And again, we can choose to focus on what we want to focus on. And Donna says, what if we, what if you don't know what it is? And Donna, that's the beautiful thing because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and the next day and the next day. But what I can tell you is when your mindset is right, when you put pen to paper, when you clear your mind, get out of your head and into your heart, you'll be able to create something. You'll be able to adapt and change. And when you affirm to yourself, I am ready. All you have to do is put action behind that commitment statement. All you have to do is take steps forward each and every day, whether it's a millimeter or a mile. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. As long as you move forward, you will get to where you want to be. So again, three questions you want to ask yourself. Are these really unprecedented times? Has this never happened for individuals or companies before? Think of Blockbuster. Think of the taxi industry. Think of the hotel industry. What are you going to change? So it's here. What are you going to do to change? And finally, 
What are you going to create? What are you going to create? Now, I just want to secondly say, deep down from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everybody that has supported my new book. And I know people thought I was crazy for releasing a new book, but it did hit number one new release in the multi-level marketing category on all of Amazon. It's currently sitting 11th, number 11 in the entire category on all books in that category. So I just want to say thank you so much for everyone, even during this time, everyone that has supported the release of my new book. You have no idea how much it means to me. And for those that have not gotten any of the emails, I am giving away free prizes on Thursday at five o'clock. I'm making the announcements. There were three prizes. I'm actually giving out nine prizes now. And there's six new prizes that will be announced. And again, if you want to be, obviously, if you want to get on that list, all you have to do is get the book, give a honest five-star rating and review, and purchase the book or the Kindle. And all you have to do is go to Amazon and just type in the Network Marketing Academy. It'll come up. I can leave the link below. And again, I'm giving away nine things to people that support this book. And it did hit number one new release. And I'm just so, so grateful for all of you. I'm just so thankful. So thankful for all of you. And again, ask yourselves those questions. It's time to bob and weave. It's time to adapt and change. And remember, Thursday at 5 o'clock, I'm announcing the nine winners. All you have to do is get the book, leave an honest, genuine five-star rating and review. You will be automatically entered, and I will let you guys know. So thank you guys so, so much. Love and gratitude to each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon.